Effects of Travel Technique on Cognition in Virtual Environments, the Future Computing Lab at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Numerous techniques have been implemented in the virtual environments to allow a participant to move about a virtual space. Most of these approaches assume that the physical track space available to the user is smaller than the virtual space that is to be experienced. Recent advances in wide area position tracking allow us to create virtual environments that a user can actually walk through in a natural manner. It also provides us the opportunity to measure the relative efficacy of experiencing a space via normal walking versus any of the simulated walking metaphors. In this study, our goal was to quantify the differences between exploring a virtual environment using common joystick-based travel techniques as compared to being able to actually walk about the space in a natural manner. The task was to explore the virtual room for five minutes. The experiment was between subjects. The independent variable was the travel method, and the dependent variable was the participant's performance on the cognition questionnaire and sketch maps. 44 participants were randomly assigned to one of four conditions. Real walking. Participant position and orientation are tracked in a physical track space the same size as the virtual room. The participant walks around the virtual room in a natural manner. Virtual walking using six degrees of freedom tracking. Participants head position and orientation are tracked, but the physical track space is smaller than the virtual room. The participant uses a wireless joystick to navigate about the room. The participant stands within a 4x4 four four foot square railed enclosure that both gives them something to hold on to for balance and keeps them within the range of the tracking device. Virtual walking using 3 degrees of freedom tracking. Participant head orientation is tracked. A joystick is used to implement the virtual walking. The participant stands within the same 4x4 four four foot square rail enclosure used in the VW6 condition. Joystick with a monitor. The participant sits in front of a 17 inch flat panel display at a distance such that the field of view is equal to the HMD conditions. He navigates about the room in a manner identical to the VW3 condition, except that the joystick now controls the view direction. We ask the following question. Is there an effect on cognition if we explore virtual space by walking around in a natural manner as compared to using a virtual travel technique? We created a set of 27 questions based on Koch's condensation of Bloom's taxonomy to assess the participants' cognition of a virtual room with respect to knowledge, understanding and application, and higher mental processes. On the understanding and application portion of the cognition questionnaire, Participants in RW perform significantly better than participants in M and VW6. There was also a strong trend toward better performance of RW as compared to VW3 for understanding and application. Participants in RW perform significantly better than participants in VW6 with respect to higher mental processes. There was a strong trend toward better performance with RW as compared to M for higher mental processes. Participants were also asked to draw a sketch map of the testing virtual environment and the objects within it. Each map was given a total object position score based on how many objects in the room were correctly positioned in the sketch map. Sketch map total object position scores were significantly better for participants in RW as compared to participants in M. User sense of presence was measured using the Steed Uso Slater Presence or SUS questionnaire. Sense of presence on the SUS questionnaire was significantly higher for all the HMD conditions as compared to the monitor condition. There was no difference in the sense of presence among any of the conditions in which the participant wore the HMD. Our results suggest that for applications where problem solving and interpretation of material is important or where opportunity to train is minimal, then having a large track space so that the participant can walk around the virtual environment provides benefits over common virtual travel techniques.